Hello and welcome to the math for fun and let's do some practice on derivatives. Here we have y equal to 5. According to the constant rule, we know that when y equals to constant, the derivative y prime is going to be equal to 0. So y equals to 5 here, so we can say dy by dx is equal to 0. Straightforward. You don't need to think about it. Let's look at question number 2. Here they are saying that f of x is equal to 5x to the power 18. We know, according to the power rule, we know that when we have f of x is equal to, let's say, a times x to the power n, f prime of x in that case is going to be equal. We drop down the n, we multiply it by a, and we remove 1 from the power. It becomes n minus 1. So here in this case, we can say f prime of x is going to be equal. We drop down the 18, so we say 5 times 18, and x becomes to the power 17, which is 18 minus 1. So we subtract 1 from the power here. Okay, that's good. And we simplify. So it becomes equal. 5 times 18 is 90. And x to the power 17, it stays. That's good. Let's go for the next question. Here we have y equal 4x to the power 5 plus x. And remember that when we have x alone, it means 1x. So now we do the derivative of y. We say dy by dx. It becomes equal. We drop down the 5, we multiply it by 4, so we say 5 times 4, x to the power 5 minus 1, we subtract 1 from the 5, plus, now, as we mentioned that x is 1x, so if you have 1x, which means that it's 1x to the power 1, if we want to drop the 1 down, so it becomes 1 times 1x to the power 0, which means that this is going to be 1x to the power 0 is 1, so it becomes 1 times 1 times 1, which means that it is 1. So also you can say that if we have a function in the form ax, so the derivative of that function is going to be the a only. So here we have 1, so it becomes 1. So the derivative is going to be equal. 5 times 4 is 20, and x to the power 5 minus 1 is 4 plus 1. Let's check that. So f of x equal to 4x to the power 4 minus 5x minus 3. So f prime of x is going to be equal, we say, 4 times. We drop down the 4, it becomes 4x to the power 3. And we mention, like when we have it in the form ax, we write only a, which is minus 5. And here, the derivative of a constant, minus 3, is equal to 0. So now the final answer is going to be equal to 4 times 4, 16x to the power 3, minus 5. Let's check this question. Here we have y equal to 3x to the power 5 over 4. So, dy by dx, or we can say it's y prime. We can write it as y prime is equal to, we keep 3 alone, and we multiply it by, drop down the 5 over 4, it becomes 5 over 4, x to the power 5 over 4 minus 1. Take out 1 from the power. So it becomes equal to 3 times 5, 15 over 4, x to the power 5 over 4 minus 1, it gives you 1 over 4. And that would be the final answer. We can do the same here. So y prime equals 2. We keep 5 over 4. And we drop down the 2 over 3. We multiply it by 5 over 4. Times 2 over 3. x to the power 2 over 3 minus 1. So it's going to be equal 5 times 2, 10. We can simplify first if you want. Divide by 2, you get 1. Divide by 2, you get 2. So you get 5 times 1 is 5. Over 2 times 3 is 6. And here we have x to the power 2 over 3 minus 1 is minus 1 over 3. Now, since we have negative power, it's better to drop it down to the denominator. It becomes 5 up over 6 down. And x to the power negative, it becomes x to the power positive 1 over 3 in the denominator. It becomes x to the power 1 over 3 without the negative sign. And this would be the final answer. Here we have a negative power. How to do that? Same thing, but make sure that to subtract properly. So if you have y equal to minus 4x to the power minus 5, so you can say y prime or dy by dx is equal minus 4. We keep it and we up in bracket and we put minus 5 because we want to multiply them together. And then x to the power minus 5, we say subtract 1 from the power, so you have to say minus 1. If you do it mentally, sometimes you write it minus 4 by mistake. We are taking away 1 from the power, so it becomes minus 5 minus 1, which is minus 6. So then it's equal to minus 4 times minus 5, it's plus 20, and x to the power minus 5 minus 1 is going to be minus 6. And as we mentioned 
in the previous question, we drop down the x to the denominator. It becomes equal to 20 over x to the power positive 6. We change the sign of the power. Now here we have x in the denominator. So to do that, either you have to go for the quotient rule, but which is not recommended here. One simple way you can do is rise up x to the power 3 to the numerator. So it becomes equal to 3 x to the power and change the sign for the power. It becomes negative 3. And then do the derivative using the power rule. So you can say then y prime becomes equal to 3. We leave it the first. And then we open bracket and we drop down the negative 3. And we put x to the power negative 3 minus 1. Then it's going to be equal 3 times negative 3 is 9 minus 9 and x to the power negative 3 negative 1 you get negative 4 and to the denominator you say minus 9 over x to the power positive 4 and that's it look at that here y equal x to the power 2 over 3 so we say y prime equals to 2 over 3 x to the power 2 over 3 minus 1 which is equal to 2 over 3 x to the power 2 over 3 minus 1 which is minus 1 over 3 and then we write equal 2 over and we put 3 in the denominator and we drop down the x to the denominator it becomes x to the power 1 over 3. Let's look at that f of x equal minus 2 radical x but the radical has an index 4 so it's better to change it to exponent form so we write f of x is equal to minus 2 and we write x to the power 1 over 4. Here we have power 1 and here we have the index 4 so we write it 1 over 4 and then we do the derivative so f prime of x is going to be equal minus 2 we leave it and we drop down the 1 over 4 it becomes times 1 over 4 x to the power 1 over 4 minus 1 then it's going to be equal minus 2 times 1 over 4 which is minus 1 over 2 as simplified form and x becomes to the power 1 over 4 minus 1 which is minus 3 over 4 and then we drop it to the denominator it becomes minus 1 over 2 x to the power 3 over 4 and you remember since the form was given in the radical form we have to return it back to the radical form so it's going to be equal minus 1 over 2 and we put radical with an index 4 because here we have index 4 and we put x to the power 3 inside the radical and that's it look at that mixed question so we can say y prime equals 2 over 3 x to the power 4 we drop down the 4 and we multiply it by x to the power 3 4 minus 1 is 3 and that's it plus now 5x as we mentioned it's in the form ax so we can say straightforward it's equal to 5 minus and here we have x to the power negative so we drop down the negative 3 and we put x to the power minus 3 minus 1 which is minus 4 and we simplify it's going to be equal 2 times 4 8 8 over 3 so we have 8 over 3 x to the power 3 plus 5 minus times minus 3 it becomes plus 3 x to the power minus 4 because minus 3 and minus 1 is minus 4. If you don't want to drop down x to the power negative 4 because it's already given as x to the power negative so we can keep it and that's it. Look at that question y equal minus 1 over 2x to the power 4 plus 3x to the power 5 over 3 plus 2x. We do similarly y prime equals we drop down the 4 and we multiply it by the minus half. So we say minus half times 4x to the power 4 minus 1 which is 3 plus 3 we multiply it by drop down the 5 over 3 it becomes 5 over 3 here 5 over 3 minus 1 is 2 over 3 plus 2 times x derivative of 2x is 2 and then we simplify equal minus 1 over 2 times 4 which is minus 2 x to the power 3 plus and here 3 times 5 over 3 3 and 3 cancel is going to be equal to 5 x to the power 2 over 3 plus 2 finally let's look at those two special cases the first case here they mentioned the question c as constant so since c is a constant so the derivative of 5c is going to be what is going to be equal to 0 so we say y prime is equal to 0 since c is a constant then 
the derivative of a constant is zero but they should mention that c is a constant in the question let's look at another question here we have y equals to 4a x to the power 3a minus b x to the power 3c and a b and c are considered to be as constants so to do that we say dy by dx or y prime is equal we keep 4a alone and we open bracket we drop down the 3a it becomes 3a here and we say x to the power 3a as we mentioned we subtract one from the power minus b we keep it and we open bracket we put 3c and we say x to the power 3c minus 1 and simplify you get 4 times 3 is 12 a times a is a squared x to the power 3a minus 1 minus b times 3c which is 3bc x to the power 3c minus 1 and this is how do we do the derivative using the constant power and some rules i hope you enjoyed the video if you like the video don't forget to like and share and welcome to math for fun and bye for now